Hi there! Welcome to another tutorial of CrowdSim 3D. In this tutorial we will show how to configure a junction without traffic lights. I have already configured the lanes for my city. Next I need to configure the junctions. In the traffic system you can configure a junction to have a traffic light or not. In another tutorial I will show how to configure traffic lights. If you want a junction without traffic lights, it is advisable to configure which turns a car can take. Let's take this junction. We have four lanes on three sides and two lanes on the right. Let's mark the incoming lanes. These are the incoming lanes for this junction. The traffic system is a right-sided traffic system. Here you see all the curves of the traffic system. Back to the junction. If you select a junction and go to the object properties, you will see all incoming and outgoing lanes. Here you can configure which incoming lanes and outgoing lanes are connected. Default, the traffic system will connect all incoming lanes to all possible outgoing lanes. It can be handy to give your curves a name to make it easier. Otherwise, you would be configuring Bezier curve X to Bezier curve Y and that can be confusing. Here you can see that we have AB Street, CD Street, EF Street and G Street. We see that AB Street 0, .0, .0 is connected to G Street 0.0. .0 and AB Street 0.1 to G Street 0.0. .0. What does this 0.0, .0 or 0 0.1 mean? The numbering at the end, this 0.0, .0 and 0 0.1, is basically to distinguish between lane A and lane B. The traffic system uses numbers to distinguish between the different lanes on one side of the road. And it starts numbering from the innermost lane to the outermost lane. So in this case, AB Street 0, .0, .0 corresponds to lane A and AB Street 0 0.1 corresponds to lane B. In this way, we can specifically configure each lane. So here we see that incoming lane AB Street 0, .0 .0, that's lane A, is connected to outgoing lane G Street 0.0 and that incoming lane AB Street 0.1, that's lane B, is also connected to outgoing lane G Street 0.0. It might be that you don't want cars in lane B to turn to lane G. In this case, you can remove this configuration. If you removed the wrong configuration, you can always go back to the default by pressing the reset button. For now, we'll remove it. Next, lane A is connected to CD Street 0, .0. .0. That's lane A to the innermost outgoing lane of CD Street. Lane A is also connected to the outermost lane of CD Street. This is something you might not want, because coming from lane A and going to this lane can block cars that are coming from lane B. So let's remove this configuration. Like this, you can continue configuring your junction. Here we have lane B going to the innermost lane of CD Street. That's something I don't want because cars of both lanes can block each other. So I remove it. Then we have lane A going to EF 0.0. .0 and we have lane A going to 
EF0.1. Let's remove this one. Then we have lane B going to EF0.0, the innermost lane. Let's also remove this one. Then we have G Street. Let's say that cars coming from the G Street can go to any outgoing lane. So we leave these configurations as is. Then we get to CD Street. CD Street 0.0, .0 is lane C. Cars in lane C can go to the innermost lane of AB Street. That's OK. Then lane C can go to the outermost lane of AB Street. Let's remove that one. This is Street D. Let's say that Street D can only go to G Street, to the outermost lane of AB Street, and to the outermost lane of EF Street. So we remove the other configurations. Next we have EF Street. Let's continue configuring EF Street. Now that we have configured our junction, we need to add behavior and calculate how the cars will cross this junction. I will cover adding logic in another tutorial. But just to let you see how the cars will behave with this configuration, I'll have the system calculate the behavior. First, we add some agents. Then we populate the agents with a car model. Next, I calculate the behavior. Let's see how the cars are crossing the junction. In the next tutorial, I will show how to configure traffic lights for your junction.